I wonder if you could tell me if my order has gone off yet. Not knowing your order, madam, I really couldn't say. But I was in here an hour ago and gave it to you. Uh, what name, madam? Spooner. Mrs. Spooner. Have you an address? Do I look as if I live in the open air? I gave a large order for sheets and tablecloths to be sent to Bacon Villa, Egham. Egham? I hope I speak plainly. Egham. Oh, yes, yes, I remember perfectly now, madam. Let me see now. No, your order won't go through until tomorrow morning. Is there anything further? Yes, I want two dazzled damn and damask dinner napkins. I beg your pardon? I said two dumb with that damask dinner napkins. I'm sorry, madam, I don't quite catch. Dinner napkins, ma'am. Dinner napkins. Of sir. course, madam. Plain? Not plain. Double damask. Yes. Uh, would you mind repeating your order, madam? I'm not quite sure. I want two dazzled damn and dabbock. I want two damn and dabbock. Oh, dear. Stupid of me. <laughs> I want two dozen damn and dabbock. dinner napkins. Dinner napkins, madam? Yes. You mean dinner napkins. That's what I said. Oh, pardon me, madam. You said dinner napkins. That's ridiculous. I said dinner napkins and I meant dinner napkins. Nip a dan. You know, you're getting me muddled now. I'm sorry, madam. You want Dan and Nipkins, exactly. How many? Two dozen. Madam? Oh, gracious young man. Can't you get it right? I want two dozen, dozen damask dinner napkins. No, madam, not two dozen. You mean two dozen. I said two dozen, only there must be damel dozik. No, we haven't any of that in stock, oh, madam. Oh, dear, of all the fools. Can't I find anybody, just anybody with a modicum of intelligence in the store? Well, here is our Mr. Peters, madam. Now, perhaps if you asked him, he might... Can I be of any assistance to you, madam? I'm sorry to say, but your assistant doesn't appear to speak English. I'm giving an order, but he might just as well be an Esperanto for all he understands. Ah, Allow me to help you, madam. Uh, You require... I require two dozen double damas dinner napkins. I beg pardon, madam. Oh, heavens, can't you understand? Uh, Would you mind repeating your order, madam? I want two dozen. Uh, Two dozen? I said two dozen. Oh, no, no, madam. No, you said two dozen. But I understand perfectly what you mean. You mean two dozen. In other words, a double dozen. That's it. A double dozen of double damask dinner napkins. Oh, no, pardon me, madam, pardon me. You mean a double dozen of double dummy dinner napkins. Double damask, sir. I said double damask. It's, uh, it's Stephaninkins you require, sir. Please get it right. I want dinner napkins, dinner napkins. I beg sir. pardon, madam. So so stupid of me. Oh. One gets so confused. <laughs> yes, this is not a laughing matter. Of course. Uh, Dipper Nankins, madam. Dipper Nankins, sir. Dinner Nipkin. I understand exactly what madam wants. It is too... Oh, would you mind repeating your order, please, madam? Oh, dear, I want two dazzled in damas dinner dumplings. Allow me, madam, allow me. The lady requires two double and double dummers done a napkins. Done a napkins, sir? Certainly, two dozen. Not two dozen, I want two dozen. Quite so, madam, quite so. Oh, if I may say so, we're getting a little bit confused, oh. uh, splitting it up as it were. Now, the full order, the full order is two dozen dimble dummers and nipper dumpkins. Excuse me, sir, you mean two dumb and dammel dimmick dizzy napkins? I do not want dizzy napkins, I want two dizzle dammel dummers. No, two dizzle dammel dizzy. Two dazzle dammel dummick. Two damn dizzy diddle dimmer dipkins. Madam, madam, please. Please, your language. Oh, blast. Give me 24 serviettes. Hello, old boy. What on earth are you doing here? Out on the razzle tonight, what? No, this is no razzle. Billy, I've fallen in love. I've got it badly this time. What, again? Yes. I'm going to meet the most wonderful girl in the world. What do you mean, you're going to meet? Haven't you met her before? No, not exactly. Oh, now, what the devil's the matter with you? Either you have met her or you haven't met her. Well, I've spoken to her. Oh, come on, out with it. I'll buy it. Well, it was like this. I fell in love over the telephone. Just her voice. It went right through me, straight to my heart. It was then I knew she was the only girl in the world for me. Well, who is she? She's on the telephone exchange. Why, what do you mean? One of the operators? Yes, my telephone girl. Oh, my grandmother. Well, good luck, old boy. I hope she comes up to expectations. Uh, I'll be at the club if you want me, see? Want you? All I want is to get rid of you. Look out, here she is. Well, good night, old boy. Miss Primrose Hill, my angel... Speaking, what name, please? Why, it's me, Tom. I thought you were never coming. What's the time? The time at exchange clock is a three minutes past eight. Darling, how marvellous you've come at last. I've longed for this all my life. When I first heard your voice, I knew that I was meant for you, and you were meant for me. Pleasure receiver, please. Dearest, wouldn't you like to take off your cloak? Ah, there's the waiter. Uh, now then, darling, what would you like to drink? You choose. Power one nine one five. Primrose. I must tell you, I never knew anyone could be as beautiful as you. You don't know what it meant to me when I first heard your voice. It was like a soft bell in my ear, a voice from heaven. A long-distance call? You angel. Where's the waiter? Will you ring the bell, darling? How hungry you must be. Why doesn't he come? I'll uh, ring them again. 
Ah, here's the waiter with the champagne. Uh, show Madame the wine, please. Wrong number. Pardon, miss, but you said... Pardon, but I would fight. But, miss, this is the 1915 brand. Sorry, you've been... Trouble. All right, pour out the wine. Good heavens, you aren't careless. You spilt it all over my... You can go now, waiter. Oui, monsieur. Darling, how beautiful you are. Speak up, please. Darling, I said how beautiful you are. Such a child. Well, you can't be more than 16. Numbers be changed. Please make a note of it. Well, you can't be more than 25. Quite correct. Primrose, I love you. I want to marry you. I want you to be my wife. Kiss me. Kiss me. There's no such exchange. Darling, give me a few moments to explain. You can't treat me like this. I don't care for anything anymore. You must marry me or I'll kill myself. Your time is up. Will you have another three minutes? Oh, say you love me, then nothing matters. Heavens, I shall go mad. I want to take you in my arms. I want you, I want you, I want you. Primrose. I believe you do love me a little. Kiss me again. Hold on. Oh, I love you so much, and we'll be so happy, Primrose. You're through to Paris, please. Darling. Oh, listen, darling. I'm afraid there's one thing I must tell you. I haven't got a penny in the world. You've been cut off. But, dearest, what's it matter as long as we love each other? Sorry, the connection has broken down. Primrose. There's no reply. You can't leave me like this. You'll be charged for the call. Ah, so that's it, is it? Money. Money, money, money. Women, how I hate them. Turn a fellow down just because he hasn't got the cash. I'll tell you what you are. You're nothing better than a common little... Oh, I shall report you to the supervisor. 